The Cairo Genzach was always considered one of the most fascinating documents about Jewish life in the Middle Ages. The problem with it has always been that the different pieces of the documents which were found there were scattered around the world in different archives. Thanks to modern technology, this is finally going to change. Dr. Yaakov Shreki and his son, Dr. Roni Shreki, have brought together their deep knowledge in Jewish history and computer science to change the way researchers will be able to access information about one of the most precious findings in the history of the Jews in the 20th century. The Cairo Gniza, in fact, is a collection of manuscripts that spans uh, over a thousand years. The first manuscripts found in the Gniza uh, dates from the 9th uh, century and uh, up to almost the 18th century. And uh, it, the contents are, in fact, f of two parts, of two types. One of them is uh, concerns Jewish heritage. All the versions of the Talmud, sometimes of the 9th, 10th, or 11th century, uh, writings of uh, important rabbis, uh, books or works of ethics and philosophy and halakha, Jewish legal code. The other part, uh, we call it the documentary, which contains of uh, uh, personal letters, uh, list of loans, uh, recipes, uh, medical information. Uh, in fact, everything that you can think of that has to do with day-to-day -day life, you can find some traces of it in manuscripts from the Geniza. Now also the Cairo Geniza is uh, really very important because of the size of the collection. The collection contains about 320,000 fragments. It's the largest collection of manuscripts found anywhere. Now the question is how do you put together hundreds of thousands of pieces of papers to make some sense of it all? As you said, the computer is trying to match uh, similar handwritings. Now, this is done by uh, taking the digital image, breaking it uh, to separate letters, identifying the letters, and then uh, matching the, different, the, the letters in the different fragments. And in this case, the computer actually needs to compare 12.4 uh, billion possible pairs. This is a, a huge task, even for a big and powerful computer. So here we uh, took the clusters of computers in Tel Aviv University Lab, and we uh, put them into the mission of comparing the all possible pairs of Gnizza fragments. And it, uh, uh, it's running just now. It started two weeks ago. And we are producing much more work for the Gnizza scholars. From now on, they will not uh, work on one single fragment. They will work on set of, of fragments. Uh, every set will be composed out of several fragments that the computer is joined together. And actually, the, the study will be much more faster, accurate, and richer. And I'm sure that we will, the, all uh, Gnizza studies will be m much more enriched by our uh, output. Researcher in Gnizza can really see a whole manuscript in one piece and study it as it should be studied. The invention of the software that put the Cairo Gnizza together is making waves in academia and many researchers around the world are now interested in the technology. This technology uh, can be applied to other uh, uh, alphabet, other uh, characters. Uh, and Leo, uh, Professor Leo Wolf and Professor Nahum Dershowitz uh, from the Tel Aviv University actually uh, tried this, the same technique on another uh, collection, much smaller collection, but still collection of Tibetan uh, in Chinese manuscripts that were found in a city, Dunghu, on the Silk Valley. Uh, the, these manuscripts are dated also a few hundred years ago. They tried already the, uh, our software on this uh, manuscript and there is some success. So basically, you can apply the same technique to other collections. We don't know ones or, of such big collections in Zagnesa, but um, in a smaller scale there are. After almost completing their task, the Shwekis are now looking into yet another Gniza project, which looks very promising. The Gniza was found in Afghanistan, and apparently it contains, already it was found uh, that there was maybe a, a few hundred documents, and some of them reached us, reached the National Library in Israel, and uh, there are images already of such, uh, of such manuscripts, and some of them seemed like very important. 
but nobody really knows how much or how many more manuscripts are there in that Geniza. Things are very mysterious about it. It may be that there are only a few hundreds. It may be that there are thousands or maybe tens of thousands. Really nobody knows. Now that the Cairo project is as good as completed, the people of the Ganzach project are looking to license their technology to other similar projects around the world where the Israeli innovation is considered no less than groundbreaking. For Jane One, I'm Ron Jacobson in Tel Aviv.